What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We are doing the proliferate cube today. So isn't this a lesson? No, this is a human shaman. This is from Strixhaven, and so is this. But this one's borderless, and this one's not. Oh, I'm sorry, extended art. My bad. Okay, so we're trying to proliferate here. That is the presumed goal. Hmm. I do like Planeswalker. God, I have no idea what to take here. It's pretty wild. Um, I feel like I just want the Mu Yanling. Does that feel correct, anyone? Anybody? I'm going to take the Mu Yanling. Oh, Archangel of Thune is a is a banger. Double the number of counter of each kind of counter on any number of permanents. That could be great. Probably is great. Plain wide celebration says proliferate, and you can do it four times if you want to. So that's good. I'm actually gonna let's try the plain wide celebration. Let's be blue green. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the skate is a banger i agree with you and there's a battlefield with one one kind of for each color of mana spent on it so it could be a two two could be a four four and then you can remove four counters to add four mana hmm Kind of like Dragon's Guard Elite here. I don't know. I have no idea what I'm doing. This is... I don't know what, where the power level is or what cards are broken or not broken, so it's kind of hard to to figure out. I want to take the Wickabilder because this guy just kills things, and that seems relevant in a format like this. So, you know. Who knows? Unfortunately, none of these cards look any good or are in our colors. I guess Elspeth Conqueror's Death is probably like the best card. Yeah, it's Wickabaw from Gloucester. I'm going to take the Elspeth Conqueror's Death. Oh, Breeding Pool. Give me that Breeding Pool. Right? Right. I mean, I could see an argument from Nissa for sure. Nissa's great, but Breeding Pool is our first land that helps us do things. Hmm. Scry two, choose a card. When you cast that spell, draw two. Look at the top card of each player's library. Hmm. That's probably fine. Both of these are enchantments and we have nothing that really triggers this except for our seven drops. So I'm gonna take this. I'm not sure how those are related. No, I don't think they are, but that's okay. Just take Psionic Blast, I guess. Barkhide Troll is fine, I guess. Thank you. Oh, Super Fritz. Great googly moogly with the 30 months, buddy. Appreciate it, my dude. Thank you, buddy. Mm -hmm. 
Still not great at Twitch, but I think I subscribed and it popped up on the screen. I might not have done Yo, Fizzle, I think you did it. It looks like you are subbed, so I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Um, Blue White's actually fine because we do have Elspeth Conqueror's Death. And it is one of our colors at the very least. So, all right, we're trying Bant Control. I guess. Hmm. See, I don't understand. Like, there's a lot of things that make tokens. Like, this makes a token, but we're proliferating, not populating. So... I still think this is correct, because it's a nice defensive creature that ramps us a little bit, but... Huh. I don't know why I took Grim Poppet there. I think it's just the most, I don't know. I mean, all the other cards looked kind of weird, but Grim Poppet's like a cool seven drop. That enters as a one, one, it can kill some things. So like this guy, when he dies, you make a 1-1, one, one, but like, again, that's not proliferating, that's just populating, so. I don't know. Yeah, we'll take Savage Swipe. It triggers our Dragon's Guard Elite at the very least. Is it a Snakeskin Veil? I almost feel like Wooded Bastion. Actually, Contagion Engine's got to be correct, right? Like, it's a big six-mana artifact. It, it might be a bomb in this format. Proliferate, then proliferate again. Hollowed Fountain, Birds of Paradise, Evolution Sage. Yeah, the engine puts negative one counters on each of their creatures, which is pretty good. I want to take the Evolution Sage. I think this card is, it's supposed to be really good. Like I, when I had it, I could never get it to work, but I, I still recognize the fact that it's very good. Creeping tar pit, the old sweet gum recluse. Replicating ring. Hmm. Oh, I like an Ancestral Vision, although I don't want to proliferate onto it. That's kind of weird. What is this? A 3-4 four for 4. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield, you may pay 2. If you do, that creature deals damage equal to its power to target creature. Okay. So it's just like new creatures fight. I think we're just taking Ancestral Vision. <laughs> um, same thing with Riftwing Cloudscape. These are cards that like... 
I guess, can you proliferate onto them? I don't think so, because you only choose permanents. So, interesting. A Johnny is pretty bananas. Let's take a Johnny. The Hydra, what Hydra was it? He doesn't even know what he passed it. Oh. Oh. oh, Primordial? Yeah, that guy's fine. I think a Johnny's better. That's just my opinion, though. I could be wrong. Don't care about any of these cards. This pack's kind of underwhelming. Contagion class, but just because it has built-in proliferate is like one of the only things I really care about. I mean, Hero Blade Hold's fantastic, but I don't really want to uh, play it. I guess this is double white, too. Where's the lands? Flux Channel Channel are also not bad. I mean, Armorcraft Judge could be nice. Draw a card for each creature with a counter on it. Sure. Two more Hydras. Oh, a Tundra? I think we're going to go with the Tundra. Like, this is 18 cards, and we're only on pack two. I'd rather just have some decent lands to play our white cards. I don't hate Chromatic Star. Steady Progress is also pretty decent. It also triggers... Yeah, we're taking the... Yeah, we'll take that. Frost Trickster. Interesting. Even Eternal's fine. Oh, Riftwing? Great. Let's take a Riftwing. Doubling season over anything? Um, Possibly. Jace Cunning Castaway. Don't care about you very much. Flooded Strand is nice. It gets Tundra and Breeding Pool. Chasm Skulker is great. I mean, I'm a fan of it. Hadana's Climb is pretty sweet. Uh, I think we're just going to take the Flooded Strand, though. Again, we only have like two lands, so I kind of want to make sure we can cast our things. I do like that we have Talisman and Replicating Ring because we do have some more expensive cards. Ooh, Colonnade? Hmm. That looks like the best card in this pack. Nothing is really super exciting here. Yeah, we'll just take a Colonnade. Make sure that mana be, be good. That mana do be good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tireless Tracker's nice. 
Soul Herd are any good? Blink's Riftwing, Blink's Avon Eternal. And Blink Sailor. You can kill something and then Blink Grim Pop it. So this guy, this guy, refresh that guy. This guy, this guy, it's actually not bad. Any interest in Resident Evil Village this Friday? Um, I have not had any interest yet, but I could see playing it. I think Tireless Tracker is going to be better, and I think the Soul Herder has a higher chance of coming back. Yeah, I don't like this pack very much. <laughs> not not great. I think it's just Virgil's Gear Hulk. Virgil's Gear Hulk's just a ridiculous creature. Ooh, a Flooded Grove. I feel like that's got to be one of the Thriving Heath. We already have Tundra, Flooded Strand, and Celestial Colonnade. This is also 23 cards. So that's nice. We're only playing Elspeth and, and Johnny here, which is good. I don't want to go too crazy with the splashes. High Sentinels is pretty good. I don't think we're an Essence Scatter deck. Is it, are we just an Avenger deck? I mean, like, I don't know. Let's just take Devoted Druid, actually. I kind of like Devoted Druid here. I kind of want more ramp. Ooh, treasure map is nice. Oh, we just passed a quill spike? Wow, that's stupid. We could have just made infinite mana or killed them with that. I was going to be like, any consideration for the quill spike combo that you just passed, you stupid idiot? Well, actually. <laughs> I am losing my mind over Resident Evil 8 on Friday. Man, you guys are going crazy for it. Should I play it? Anybody anybody want to donate it? So we can play on stream? Repeal? I think we'll take a repeal. It's supposed to be based on the Universal Monster movie, so Four Castles, One Vampire, Werewolf, Frankenstein, and then uh, etc. would be um, the Creature from the Black Lagoon, I would assume. If that's true, that sounds pretty awesome. Oh, what up, Medina Streams and Medina Streams uh, people? Welcome in, guys. <laughs> oh, man. We're doing some proliferate cubing here. Like you do. Um, we have 13 creatures. I can take this guy out. He's not He's not that exciting. I told you the Soul Herder is coming back. You nincompoops. No, just kidding. You guys didn't really disagree. There's a loud motorcycle that went by, but since I have noise canceling on, I don't even think you could have heard it. I'm in, you son of a bitch. <laughs> I don't know why that's 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 far funnier than it should have been. Is it the Black Lagoon or is it the Mummy? Oh, that's a good question. Oh man, now you now I don't know. The most famous person, buddy. You need to take it easy. 
take it easy. All right, we need three cuts. I think we can cut steady progress. It's kind of unexciting. Wish somebody would tell me I'm fine. I feel like we do have enough for Soul Herder. Could like a treasure map, right? Guys, right? Metamized Prophecy, that's kind of poop too, right? <gasps> Excuse me. We'll cut that. Maybe Grim Pop it? No, I don't want to cut that many creatures. I have 13 creatures left. I feel like it should be a three drop, but I think all of our three drops are fine. Maybe Sailor of Means is poop. I just gave away a card that would be good for the deck. Wait, what does that mean? Man, base is looking all right. I need one more cut. Let's board in Wickerbow Elder. When we happen to need that guy. All right, sort by color. Colares, if you will. You don't have to, though. He gave away a Fre uh, Phyrexian Vorinclex. Oh, dang. Oh, yeah. Phyrexian. Oh, the, Vor the Vorinclex would be amazing. Shut up and take my money. May <laughs> Resident 8 on me. Resident Evil 8. I don't know why I said Resident 8. Resident Evil 8 on you. I'm going to see if I can get me and Michael together and we can, uh, we can, we can stream it. And I'll definitely upload it to YouTube as well. Dude, Mayhem, thank you so much, buddy. I appreciate you, man. That is awesome. Oh, that's sick, dude. Now I'm excited. I won that Vorin Clicks after being a jerk about it in case you thought life was fair. Oh, uh, you son of a bitch. Okay, so six, seven, eight, and then Flooded Strand is nine. And we have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we have two, three, four. This is actually pretty good. I'm just going to go with that. Spooky mutual video game stream. Yeah, that's correct. I also want to get wireless headphones, but I don't know how well they'd work with like multiple pairs. I hate wires. I hate wires and having wires on my desk. Like whenever I look at YouTube, YouTube videos of people who are like when their desk is shown, they have like absolutely nothing on their desk. And I'm just like, I don't understand. I have nothing on your desk. How do you live like this? Dude, man, thank you so much, man. You're awesome. That's phenomenal. Wish somebody would tell me I'm fine. Wireless Bluetooth headphones and Windows machines. Yes, I, I definitely have Windows. <laughs> yeah, it's rough. I don't give enough. So, oh, get out of here, dude. Get out of here. Every time people say that, I'm just like, that's not how that works. You guys don't have to give anything. Like, you know, I definitely appreciate all the support. You guys are amazing. And this is uh, definitely one of the ways I uh, make my living. <laughs> so it, the support really helps. But never feel like you have to, like, like you have some quota to meet. Watsy Jason D. I don't know who that is. Play a Moo Yanling Proliferate deck. Done. Okay, that's pretty good. So now we can actually play our Avon Eternal. Wish someone would... My fuck... Super Fritz, I'm extremely Shut frustrated that you got this this song in my head. Kerwit with the one living buck. Oh, what were you saying, ma'am? What were you saying? How convenient. If you did a stream where you acted like there was a quota and just constantly berated and belittled people. Look, guys, I don't know what you expect. You've been here for 15, 20 minutes, going on a half an hour now. The, the rent's not going up. Ugh. Come on, man. I mean, this is getting countered, right? What kind of counter spells they got in this format? 
Come on, Watsy Jason D. Don't 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 be don't do me dirty. He didn't do me dirty. <laughs> oh my bad. Here I'll fix it. I'm not I'm not clicking that. Did you guys see the new soundbite we got? Uh, now, eventually, you do plan to have dinosaurs on your on your dinosaur tour, right? Hello. I think we actually just go Aven Eternal, keep up Snakeskin Veil. I really hate that man. <laughs> oh man. They're gonna essence scatter this thing. They're gonna be like, essence scatter. He has no essence left. I'm gonna be like, oh no, where did his essence go? Let's make a big fat floaty boy. I'm so mad that command put that song in my head before I saw the link. Yeah, but in your heart, you knew what that link was for. Wish somebody would tell me I'm fine. Petty theft. So wait, if we snakeskin veil this, they don't get their, if this resolves, they don't get their guy and we don't lose our 4-4? Four -four? Oh no. Oh no, this is going to be so sad. Oh, deals two. Okay. That's fine. That actually kind of worked out well. Next turn we can armor craft judge and draw three. No, two. Yes, two. I don't know why I said three. Okay, Watsy, Jason D, take it easy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Do 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 do. What did they sacrifice? Oh, the treasure token. Got it, got it, got it. The world is my completed oyster. Solid reference. I'm a fan. The fourth castle is Merfolk. <laughs> Dude, that sounds amazing. It also sounds really scary. See, this is what I mean. Like, I have two creatures, two tokens, but I'm not populating. I'm proliferating. So, like, I can't, like, I have this proliferate card that doesn't do much. Can't attack, but you can block is what you're saying to me right now. Wish somebody would tell me I'm fine. So... Plus two, plus two, if its power is two. So I can go like this, and this, and that guy trades. And that's fine. We're getting in there. This chat experience is what three beers uh, during an obnoxiously long code to point on a Wednesday looks like at 1 a.m. It's a whole mood. It sure is a whole mood. 
How about you? Where do you work? Where are you deploying that sweet, sweet code? I work for Fairly Early G Coast Bank and we've tried this shit three times this week and I just want it to be done. Please, God, be done. Uh, <laughs> you know, like you do. I kind of like Familiar's Ruse here over like Grim Poppet. They didn't seem like they had a ton of creatures. Man, they killed my Mu Yanling and my uh my token my mu yanling token for four forests huh you know what i like to live dangerously and by that i mean tireless tracker is going to carry us ooh Wish somebody would tell me I'm fine. Yeah, I was watching his stream and he was he was all right, but he just kept singing Papa Roach and I, I really couldn't get behind it. I hope I get another three drop or something that I can play here because I'd rather play Tireless Tracker on four. All right, I accept that. That seems better. Now we can go tracker into land. I wish you would step back from that last. <laughs> oh God. It's it's really it's those awkward moments when you know you have the worst chat and the best chat all at the same time, and you're like, you're all terrible, but also fantastic, and that's okay. That's true. Cutting crew might have a broader appeal. I'll just died in your arms tonight. It must have been something you said. Okay. I'm sure they're going to... I think they're going to Prismari command this... Yep, doing something else. Four mana. Four mana. Are you killing my tractor? No. Okay. They're good at producing the mana, but they haven't really done much with it. I should have walked away. Beep, 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 beep. Let's draw a card. Ooh, a wingy boy. One wingy boy. I guess we'll keep the white up. We have... Uh... Okay. Believe it or not, I cannot cast another spell. This, uh, this midnight clock is actually uh, kind of spoopy. I'm looking for another white source here before they, they go tickety-tock and draw seven. All right, create a 1-1, one, one, sure. The next way you cast costs one less for each artifact you control. That's, that's good. White source. <sighs> Buttery biscuits. Hmm. 
Do I want to keep up familiar Uzuru's or put Wing Splicer down? They're going to draw two cards. Uh, seven cards. A lot of cards. <sighs> it's a bummer. Could have killed this if we played Contagion Engine, but... Yeah, all right. They're not striking me as a deck with counter spells, so... All right, there we go. Seven cards. Well, I guess I have seven cards as well. So I guess it's, if anything else, it's parody, right? Okay, I mean, that's fine. Merchants at Dockhand. Tap X untapped artifacts you control in the top. Okay, so you can tap like one artifact. Sure. Hey, Frank. You suck. Got him. Let's see. <laughs> All I wanted was to entertain people. Mm. <laughs> Chris Perter, I love you. Chris, my card kingdom order shipped. And I was like, God, it's about time Chris started doing his job. You know what I mean? Let's play this guy. Let's play this thing. You're on vacation and you're not visiting and we're not streaming together like bros. Ugh, unbelievable. This could be us, but you playing. What have you been doing for your vacation? You haven't done anything? That was a whole yo-yo. <laughs> it was emotional. It was emotionally draining. Man, Contagion Engine's wild. You can just activate the engine, put a million counters on Sahili, on the on the Chalice, kill my Golem. I've been laying on my couch all week. <laughs> How's that going? Is it a comfy couch? You slept on it when you came to it. Oh, the, was it the fold out? Yeah, that one was all right. I had a good time. I had a great time. All right. All right. I, I don't know how we're winning this game because, like, if we had another white source, just being able to get rid of, like, either Contagion Engine or Everflowing Chalice would be great. But we can't do that. Okay. I mean, Wicker Ballader is definitely coming in this game. Doing fine. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Yep, all right. You got it, buddy. Oh, my nugs are here. 
Oh, my delicious nugs. My delicious nuggles. Yep, do it again. One, two, three, four. Well, that is, that is what's known as an unfortunate turn of events. Where they managed to kill our creature and do a lot of magical things. See, that's where I draw the line. You trying to loot? Not on my watch, buddy. I would like one more white source, just so I can finally play my card. White source? Haven Eternal. White source? Island. One, two, three. Tireless tracky. This thing. Kill that stupid guy. <laughs> well, I guess that's that. What does this do? For each artifact, create a, co a token that's a copy of it. Those gain haste. And then you exile the beginning. That's not even that exciting. I thought we would be dead. But we are alive. Oh, my nugs are here. I guess they could copy their contagion engine. That would be wild. If they copy the cornucopia and the ever flowing chalice, though, I'm pretty sure they come and play with no counters. So, yeah, copying contagion engine is pretty bad for us. Oh dear. Oh dear. Well, what can be done? What do we kill here? Probably Sahili. I don't even know. Sahili and Contagion Engine are both good. Yep, those guys are dead. That's unfortunate. Okay, treasure map. Whatever you say. Virtuous Gear Hulk. Hmm. Flip those counters on yourself. They have one card in hand. It's very likely that they just don't draw anything to kill this, though. What does this do? Okay, sure. Oh, they're just adding a million. Yeah, okay. They have nine, nine, nine mana here, huh? Their chalice do have haste. I mean, because this doesn't really do much. I feel like we're in good shape, but I mean, they definitely have some things we want. We should worry about.
Uh, oh, you're just going to put it on three, then put it on five. Hmm. I guess that does it. This costs four, this costs six. So you're really, you're really working around there. You got two, three, four, and six. <laughs> Okie dokie. Yep, that's a good one. That is a good one. Man, again, this, this, uh, this contagion engine's really doing the work. See, show me the good stuff. Oh yeah, beautiful. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we can play this. Go one, two, three, four, five. Oh, thank. So now the question is: Sahili or Contagion? I'm gonna say Contagion Engine. The reason is that Sahili doesn't scare me by itself. And we have an onboard way to kill Sahili. It's called creatures. So. Yeah, no blocks. Dr. Horrible, Dr. Horrible. Oh, I forgot to do the thing. I'm not smart, but that's okay. We can just do it at the end of the turn. It's fine. Just out of planes, two in a row. Beautiful. Uh, choose a player. <laughs> um, hmm. at any time, we can actually just bring back a creature with uh, Elspeth Conquer's death. That's kind of cool. We can just proliferate onto here. We could also scry and then proliferate onto here. So EOT Gear Hulk seems pretty good. Oh, they did not attack. Sure, that guy's good enough to keep one, two, three, four, one, two, done, and done again. Let's get, yeah, let's get big gear hulk, I guess. Oh, I guess proliferating on this doesn't do anything. I guess we have to actually do this jobby. Bottom. Nine. Yeah, put a counter on it. I mean, let's fingers crossed they don't have an instant speed removal spell here, and then we can just kill. Sahili, Sahili. Okay. No blocks. They're like, you know what? I'm not going to waste my my beautiful servos.
I guess we could have went face there too and dealt 12, but then they block it so they'd go to three. Who's got the time? So just like we were trying, we got rid of both Sealy and the other guy. Contagion Engine is the card we're, we're looking for here. Oh, what up, fluffy, fluffy blah, 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 blah. <laughs> that was hard to say. I uh, was having a hard time saying it. Telephone call from Mr. Horrible. Uh, oh, no. Have I made a mistake? Oh, God, they're going to shrapnel blast me. Oh dear. Should I have gained three life with the Johnny? No, it wouldn't have mattered. Wow. This guy. This guy. I'm actually going to take out the engine. I feel like it's kind of narrow here. And we're just going to play 41 because YOLO, this is just creatures, right? Exile creature, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Chris Frederick rubbing that 41. I don't even care. And we can get a breeding pool with this. That's pretty good. First turn to this guy. It's like I'm playing vintage, guys. Ooh, look at that guy. Would you look at that? That's a sailor of memes. Memes? Mayhem, have a good night, buddy. Thank you for the support and for the for the RE, RE8, buddy. Really appreciate it. I'm getting ready for these free cards. Oh, they're not free. You paid one mana for them. Oh man, imagine bouncing this guy to get a to get another treasure. Fuck, what a deal, dude. Wasn't that special? That is a thing, isn't it? All right. I think we're just going to lose the 4 4 now.
Man, I'm just gonna keep taking four here. <laughs> oh dear. Well, all right, so that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to cast something and then we can play Sailor next turn. Or we can draw a tireless tractor, make a token, crack it, have a good blocker. Okay, we're drawing some cards. <laughs> okay, all right, it's all, it's all gravy. It's all gravy in the ocean. Is that a saying? Hey man, it's all gravy in the ocean. No one's ever said that. Got he. We still get to get keep snakeskin veil up, which not only uh oh it doesn't do what I think it does. Yeah, okay. Ain't nobody got time for that. I thought we were going to die to this one ratchet bomb. Remove one one counter from, or charge counter. It deals two damage to any target. Okay, well, we're just going to conquer death that, because that's kind of scary. The ocean's full of gravy? Is that something I said? God, I really don't even know what I say anymore. One, two, three, four, five, do, 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 do. Well, I'm of the belief that my four damage is better than your two damage. Actually, if I'm at 10 and you're at 20, it's actually exactly the same. It's 20%. The... <laughs> You literally just said it. I really, I was probably like literally in the zone on autopilot. And uh, God, sometimes I feel like if I ever re watch my videos, I'd be like, what was I doing? What was I saying? Oh boy, what does that do for us? <sighs> Probably nothing right this second, right? So we can Cloudscape bounce this idiot. I guess they can just make another 1-1. One, one. I don't really want to waste a snakeskin veil here. Also, we have to be careful of, like, shrapnel blast as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have more than enough mana here. So I'm just going to jump with this. Like, if we go to five and then they shrapnel blast us, it just feels bad for everybody. Plus, plain wide celebration can gain us like a bajillion mana life. Oh, we should have just blocked here and then we get it back with Elspeth. I'm... Oh, well, they're doing us a favor. That just worked out well.
Unfortunately, proliferating does not work that well right now. Four. Yeah, we're just going to kill this and then get us to a safe distance. Great. Uh, two, two. Return a permanent card from your grave to your hand. Oh, let's do that. Two, two, twos. Return. That seems really good. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now we're at 12, so. Feels okay. Oh, we got it. We got it. Also, that was round one. Jeez, I feel like it took like an hour. I felt my life slipping away. Are you going to give the arena open sealed this weekend and try? Um, I don't know. I have a lot of moving stuff to do. Maybe, 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 maybe not though. So here's the thing. I don't like sealed. And Saturday, we're going to pack up a bunch of stuff. And Sunday, we're going to actually try to move some of it to the new house. We're doing it in phases because it's just very, it's significantly easier. <laughs> So I feel like my concern is that we're going to leave early on Sunday and I probably won't have time to actually uh, play if I if I make day two. Oh yeah, snap, keep that. Ship the contagion engine, unfortunately, but... Hmm. I like that. I also just really don't like sealed. It's such a frustrating format. In my, in my personal opinion. <laughs> Excuse me. So we want to do here. We can go treasure map and then we can go. I'm, just gonna play, I'm playing a talisman because if our plan is to play one of the three drops next turn, we're not going to activate it this turn and we're not going to activate it next turn. So I think having this in play to just provide us free mana for other things we may want to do is just going to be better. Okay. I'm just going to play this now because that is a good use of mana as far as I'm concerned. We can blink this guy next turn, get a free token. Papa likes it. That's a little scary. Okay, yield and yield. That works for me. Hmm. No blocks. Cool.
All right. Oh, the first one removed the counter, and then there were no more counters to give him. Oh, that's actually phenomenal. <laughs> that's hilarious. I was like, what just happened? Uh, let's use this. One, two, three. Give me that big moo. Let's neg this guy. The answer is yes. Yeah, sealed is definitely too random. Fluffy Bubble, I appreciate it, buddy. Okay. I like this old Border Thraben Inspector. That's a satisfying card to see. Oh, bottom. Is this? Why did I get a million? Oh, I already had two. I was like, wait, why do I have this many? Well, I don't understand. Because your sailor's on my list as the best thing in life. I feel like we're doing okay. Oh, that's very good. Well, nobody's got reach, so that's good. So now we can go one, two, three, four. Let's make a green. Judge. Draw a card. Blink judge. Draw another card. All right. I've put like at least two lands on the bottom with uh, with treasure map and we've drawn more lands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Plus the two we put on the bottom is 11. 11 out of 26. Oh, why not flickering planes are? Well, you see. It is only creatures, my good sir. Tireless Tracker? J Light Ranger. Okay. Soul Diviner. That guy went in the trash. That guy went in the hand. They played it immediately. Sounds good. Wing Splicer. land um
One, two, probably not that guy. We're just going to put you to put you to three. But you insist on knowing my bliss. I'll tell you this. I'll tell you why. Okay, we just win the game. <laughs> There's like three flyers I could deal with, but four? Too much. Okay, well. We'll see what happens here. We'll keep this and we'll hope for a green source. Me too. Well, at least we can kill the Nadir Kraken. They do get a tentacle out of it, though. Put that tentacle into play. Three, four. Oh, no blocks. Weren't they playing a black greenish deck before? What is happening? I'm not sure I understand what's going on here. Okay. <laughs> Sure. Were they like, wow, Soul Order is really good. I'm going to play that card. Hmm. Pretty sure it's Devoted Druid here because it gives us forever access to green. Soul Herder is very, very good, yes. Unfortunately, we have nothing to get back with our Elspeth Conqueror's death. There's a Twilight Mire. Okay, this deck is extremely weird. You're not going to blink that with the Soul Herder? Okay, but you... But you put, put a counter on a... Oh, you... Why did you... Huh. Okay. And you kept Grim Affliction on top, I guess. All right. Two, 
two, two, three, four. Play Judgy Boy. That could be very good next turn. <laughs> All right, well, I've oh, got a big six mana contagion engine every every match, every single match. So kills this guy, sure. Sounds good. One, two, three, four, five, six mana. So if we draw a land, we can play Grim Pop it. Yep. You know what else is a bomb? Contagion Engine. Look, they figured out the right order this time. There we go. Yep. Not a land, but a double green card. Let's go to game three. Oh, boy. That's good times. I have no idea what their deck is. It's pretty ridiculous. Um... Oh, what up, Kyers? Keep. We can't move Yanling on three, but we can move Yanling on four with our treasure token. I only smile and I love and I'll tell you why. But you insist on knowing my bliss. I've had Hollow Notes stuck in my head for like the past week. Well, that card's obnoxious. One, two, three, tireless tracker, play a land. This card's very good. Make those one one cracky boys. Oh, they're actually tentacles. This is the cracky. Shut up. This, this my money. That's just a tentacle. Oh, one hall oats bug. <laughs> oh, Chorwit. You old scamp, you. God, I don't care about that at all. It's just, just fine. Do I want to crack this clue? No, only because if I draw a Contagion Engine, I want to be able to slam it. Oh, that's not a Contagion Engine. I do want a Breeding Pool, though. I want a second green. So maybe I don't. Maybe I just want an Island. I was worried about the second blue, but then I was like, oh, wait, we got a Tundra. Now I'd just rather not take the damage here.
And now I'm realizing if I'm going to play Wing Splicer, I could have just taken the, let the thing resolve. I actually think it's Moo Gantling. I'm going to 4 4 next turn. So we're going to play Moo plus Moo on you. And I'm just going to pass. I don't want them to double block Tireless Tracker here. Also fine. Sure. Yo, kiss, I can't resist. Drawn lands. I think we get rid of this. Again, nothing in our graveyard, though. But that could help. One, two, three, four, five. We'll have six, seven. Lots of clues here. One, two, three, four, five. Do 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 do. What does scavenge do? Just puts three counters on it, right? Equal to the card's power. Oh, it's equal to the power, so two. Sure, that's fine. Might have exiled him if I'd known, but I still think this over the long run is just scarier. We have four cards, we have three cards. We have three clues on board and a Planeswalker. All of those things are okay. If they want to kill Moody Amling, it's actually pretty decent because then we just get it back, but... What's going on? T -t -t Today, Junior. Are you going for another draft? Yeah, I'll probably do another draft after this, depending on when this one ends. Geez. Otherwise, I'm going to be back during the day tomorrow. So, so they're scavenging onto that guy. Sure, four three. Got it. We're at 19. That's comfortable. I'm actually just going to jump block here to guarantee myself having a creature in the graveyard. Oh, she's actually, they're actually attacking Moo Yanling, huh? That might even be better to just let it die. Yeah, all right, sure.
man, Contagion Engine would be great, wouldn't it? <laughs> Let's see what you hit. <laughs> That's a good one. I would definitely leave that on top. Oh, well, look, you did. Okie dokie. Come on, engine. Dang it. Couldn't pop it, not terrible. Oh, they can't actually part the water veil either. That's pretty good. Just hit for nine? Yeah, let's just hit for nine. Sure. Hmm. So four, five, six, seven. We could take away four. I mean, that seemed like a very good, that seemed like a very good trade for us. Two cards for basically nothing. For giving Grim Poppet plus three, plus three. I wonder if they're going to try to cast part the water veil here. And that's going to be like, pay eight. And you're going to be like, oh no, I'm, what happened? Oh, they just, yeah, sure. I'm not going to block here because uh, let's go with a loyalty counter since it's a planeswalker. Come on, buddy. Because I want to plus and give one of these guys like Neg so that we can block it with the Sailor twice if they try to part the Water Veil. Okay. I would play treasure map, but I think it's actually more important to just crack a clue here. Drawing one card is better than scrying, I think. And we can't even scry this turn. So if they want to part, they can, they can attack, we can block, 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 and then they get to attack again and we can go block, block. <laughs> it doesn't seem terrible for us. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. They might be playing that in order to also play part. But they have two cards. One of them is part of the Water Veil. So I think that's what they're going to do. Oh. <laughs> two games in a fucking row, dude. Oh, Lord. Oh, actually, putting the counters on Grim Poppet actually seems pretty sweet. Interesting. I don't even think that was that good. Just that guy, huh?
I mean, I'm just going to give them this card. Do we take three? How do we kill them here? Four? Can we kill them? Like, they block the biggest guys, which is this and this. They take three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're too shy. I feel like it's, I feel like attacking here is probably one, two, three, four, five, six. We don't have enough mana to also, uh, dang it. SAS Popple. Oh my God, dude. That's a, that's a, that's a throwback right there. I'm going to take three. Come on. Give Papa something good. <laughs> this is fucking infuriating. They're drawing Contagion Engine every game and we're getting like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 lands, 5 lands left on our deck. Spells we've drawn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine to twelve. <laughs> One of which is not great. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now we only have six mana. Seven mana if we play a land. So I guess we're drawing a card. Like this is rough because it actually just kills this guy and this guy. Yeah, it's my nice little purple mattress. Um, no, it doesn't actually kill these two, right? They proliferate twice, so these guys get three counters. They both go to one. Colonnade, huh? Four, seven in the air. Draw one more, I guess. Never fucking fails. It's kind of amazing, actually. I mean, they actually have to block this. So I think we're just attacking here and with the bird. Nope. Oh, barrels. Okay. Sure. Crack the watcher because you finally want that card. There you go. And he still gets a guy off the board, which is very important. And we're going to make a 4-4. Four, four. And again, we're not going to play treasure map because I think cracking a clue here is just better. Plus, if we draw like snakeskin veil, then we have a game. Presumably. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They have nine mana. So they can part, but they can't part and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, they have nine. And they just played a swamp. So they can't part and attack with the creature this turn. But they are gonna make a creature. Yep. Okay. Could be alright. Oh, why not suspend vision? I literally, literally, because I didn't think it was going to make a difference this game. I don't think we're going to have four more turns. Um, but, you know, we'll see. We'll see if it bites me. Okay. 
Yeah, that's fine. What can I do to stop that? Nothing. Oh, also because I wanted to keep up crack a clue and possibly draw one of the one mana, like snakeskin veil, basically, because it protects our creature. So if they try to kill something, it's an out. And I think that's more important than suspending this. Hmm, that's annoying. Man, if I knew every opponent was going to have Contagion Engine, I would have just main decked Wicker Bow Elder. No attacks whatsoever. Like that. Let's see if I've made a mistake. Replicating Ring. You're not what I'm look. Oh, that could be amazing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten mana. This is seven. This is three. If we just alpha, they have three blockers. They block here, block here, block somewhere else. <laughs> okay, so we basically only have like a few attackers that are worth anything. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hmm. 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 They have no cards in hand. Oh, that's actually really good to know. Jeez. Um, so if we attack with this, they have to like double block. Does that do anything? This, we can make this a 10, seven, 10, nine. And this is going to be seven, eight. And they can just block with these two. I mean, that's fine. They could block with these two. Obviously that's another thing they can do. <laughs> that seems good too. Unfortunately, proliferating for us does not do much here. She's been on target creature. Cancel. We also have like five minutes less. This is definitely a situation where we're taking longer, but... Oh, that's pretty good. That's actually insane. Oh, wow. That's really good. Yeah, we're definitely just killing Vivid Marsh. So now we have two, three mana up. So now we're going to play uh, suspend this and we'll just keep the, we'll do the same thing we did last time only. Grim pop it blink.
I want to do this before they untap with Contagion Engine. Oh boy. Now we're doing it. Ah, <laughs> got him. Oh man, these matches have been grindy, dude. But if we, I mean, if we drew veil, we could have, we could have prevented the veil, the bird from getting the faith's fetters on there. All right, let's see if we can close this bad boy out. All right, say yes. You say yes. Keep this hand. Replicating ring. Tyler's tracker's your man. Is this a lady? Actually, I think that's a lady. Oh no, you say goodbye, and I say hello. Oh yeah, get that, get that ring down. So next time we can track her into land, into crack clue. That's a good use of mana. Okay, that's how you're going to be, I see. I see. Oh boy, you're just dumping out a bunch of trash. <laughs> just a bunch of garbage. But now I think we're going to play Talisman of Progress instead. <clears throat> Maybe we're not. Actually, pumping this guy seems probably better. Reason being, all their guys are... I don't want to take five here, <laughs> so... I mean, if you have a trick here, so be it. Of course you do. Yeah, so that would have killed that guy no matter what. Yep. So one, two, three, sailor, then we don't have enough for wing splicer. So we're gonna play land, talisman, and wingy boy. They're going a little wide here. Going a little wide. Not a fan. Seems good. I'll take seven, I guess. Can I plane wide celebration just gain a million? Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's gain four, no proliferate, two tokens, one creature. You say goodbye and I say hello. Yeah. 
Okie dokie. Sure. Huh. Does that do anything? You know, I don't know. Um That's really good. Jesus. Five, two, three, four, five. It's got about something. I don't want them to get another one, two, three, four, five. Oh, they're actually way ahead on lands. Yeah, I think we're just bouncing this guy. Because we can literally block all their other guys. We're not dead yet. Just that guy, huh? I'll get him off the board now because the only proliferate card is the star pupil, so that's a fine trade. Yep. Don't know why you didn't do that first when you were about to proliferate, but what do I know? Hmm. I think we're actually just keeping up uh, Celestial Colonnade here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oops, pretend that's a 3-4. They figured it out. They figured it out. Oh, Flicker Wisp is a good one to, to do the deed with. And I see I don't know. Um, that's fine. Oof, look at this. Look at this beating. Block you. Block you. Three, four, five. <laughs> hmm. I feel like we're still very far behind, especially when we're destroying lands. One, two, three. Land will have one, two, three, four, five. The three flying creatures is really what's getting us here, unfortunately. And I don't think, like, even if we block here and here. Ugh. One, two, three, four, five. This. Yeah, I think I just got to play a land here. Or not, but probably. Ah. You all right, Chief? I'm doing big, big cough up here.
Mm-hmm. Oh my god, why slow roll this? Like, I have two creatures. You have three. They're all strong enough to kill me, so why are we... Like... <laughs> Jesus, that's exhausting. That's so annoying. Contagion Clasp can come in. You're like a two drop. Nope, not you. You're not, you're not a two drop at all. Uh, I don't care about Evolution Sage. I don't think it's actually doing anything in our decks. This is my problem. I keep getting Evolution Sage and like the decks I'm putting it in just don't do anything. And it's like, oh, all right, cool. I think repeal's probably pretty good here too. Um, probably just gonna cut one card here. Ancestral Vision's probably just a bad card to draw in the late game. Oh yeah, keep this. And now we can go get our... I mean, this is a good curve if we hit a green source. That would be great. Uh, yield until the end step. Green source. Didn't think so. Hand is still fine. Oh, hand is really good now. Now if we just hit some lands. Sure. Completely fair. Like my, my goal is to stifle as much damage as I can to try to win the late game. So if we're going to trade a 2-2, two -two, okay. Well, we have five mana. So next turn, if we draw a five drop and then land land, I think we're in good shape. What are the odds of that happening? I don't know. Sure. All right. Hmm. I actually kind of like that one. Well, we do need a green source would be amazing. Any land would also be amazing. Especially if they play that 1-1 one, one again. That 2-1 one again, rather. Oh, yeah. Play that 2-1. Perfect. Land. This is the one time I needed a land, so... It makes total sense that that's what would happen. When this dies, put a one counter on target creature you control. Well, we're not going to give you the opportunity to block there. We're actually just going to... Uh, pass. And uh, Contagion Engine. Okay, that's pretty good. Oh, the 1-1 the one, one counter went on it. I was like, wait, what? Why didn't they get a counter? And then I remembered. Mm-hmm. 
Elspeth conquers death right off the top. Right off the top. The green source. Oh, we're one shy because we used the token last turn. I think it should have been one, two, one, three, actually, because then three would allow this to kill the, the hero. Whereas if they kill this, they can still attack for free with the hero. Yeah, that was a mistake, I think. Interesting. I think they're just going to journey to nowhere this and just kill us because that's, yep. Cool. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, cool. Thanks for watching, guys. Always fun to lose the most boring deck you can imagine. And uh, I'll see you next time. Really appreciate it. Subscribe, do the things, whatever you want, and uh, I'll see you later. Thanks for watching.